Hi, I'm Dr. Leonie. Today is about Chapter 11, One Way ANOVA. Do prepare three pieces of A4 paper, a calculator and a pen. We'll begin the slide now. It is 11 of December 2020. It is uh, an event happening in one company, a staff and a boss. The boss WhatsApp his staff say, Hey, get me one best fertilizer for spinach plant in 10 days. The staff say, Okay, boss. But he's thinking the boss is wanting the best fertilizer, the best budget. Uh, how can I define so called the best fertilizer for my boss? And he think for a while and he found out, Why not I just measure the highest spinach plant? If I can get the highest spinach plant, then I can tell my boss that, oh boss, this is the best budget, this is the best fertilizer. Ah, lately we have the Mr. DIY at Jolly Dare. And I know that Mr. DIY are selling four brands of fertilizer. I think I will pick the best one from there. After 10 days, and after the so-called experiment by the staff, the staff report to boss through WhatsApp say, Boss, I found that fertilizer L is the best one, you know, and I did 50 plants each. Oh, well, then report to me. Then the staff show all the data using a table there. Uh oh, I don't want the table description, please. And then the staff screenshot the average. The boss said, okay, is it that's all? And it's so boring. Then the, the staff quickly showed the pie chart. You know what the boss said? What? Pie chart? It's not relevant, man. <laughs> then the stressful staff uh, converted into a bar chart. And he showed it to his boss. Oh, it seems that the third one, fertilizer L, is the best, right? The staff seems very happy because there's no more follow up by his boss. He thought that, okay, that should be fine. But just after three minutes, a very strong word from his boss. Hey, you only planted 50 times 4. Means that you only have 60, 60 data. Then you claim that L, fertilizer L, is the best one. I don't want this small number. I want 1000 times 4 set of data, the result. I give you in 10 days, 31st of December, or else there's no bonus for you. Wow, so harsh, right? This is the data collected by the staff, one staff, and he worked very diligently to collect all those 60 set of data for the fertilizer F he got six uh, he got 15 set of data for the fertilizer H he also get 15 set of data fertilizer L 15 set of data and fertilizer P 15 set of data the stuff inside his uh, my he said oh just for myself to get 15 times 4 sample data already cost me 60 ringgit but that haven't included the salary for one worker now my boss want me to get 1000 times 4 set of data so called the population data man that is 4000 ringgit to buy all the equipments alone and that haven't add up the salary for 64 workers and then I just given 10 days. Oh. Now, what will you do before the deadline, 31st of December 2020? What's going to happen on this date? On this date, you need to report to your boss. And your boss won the 1000 times 4 set of data. A very uh, big set of data. You might have three options. The first one 
you just do the experiment. You don't care is 6,000 ringgit plus the salary for the 64 workers or not. You just want to please your boss. Why? Because of the bonus. Option two. Uh, this is a bit like not so honest. So we just keep quiet until 31st of December and then we'll report to the boss the same result as per the 15 times 4 result. Option 3. We're going to use an inferential statistics tools to make a conclusion regarding the characteristic of a population. There's the 4,000 uh, plants based on the sample characteristic. The sample set of data, we only have a total of 6060. Now, you're going to do one thing. Take three minutes to answer question one, the green color, in the link given here. tinyurl.com slash ANOVA12345 Now, you go to the link here, Okay, let me change the color. Okay, you go to the link here. <coughs> and then you select which option you prefer. Option 1, 2, or 3. And then you're going to give your justification why you choose number 1, why you choose number 2, or why you choose number 3 in 20 words. So take 3 minutes to answer it. The green color is the next question for you. <clears throat> Why I can use one-way ANOVA? Because above problem fulfills all five criteria below. So now you take five minutes, go to the Google form just now, and rewrite C1 until C5. Why? Because we want to, uh, through writing, you could recall and remember uh, those five important criteria. Okay, five minutes. Are you ready? You can start now.
So we have chosen one way ANOVA test for this problem. <coughs> After we conducted this ANOVA test, what are we going to tell our boss? If boss, if I conducted the 1000 times 4 experiment, at least there will be two fertilizers over four types of fertilizers are going to produce a different spinach average height. <coughs> that is, the alternate hypothesis is at least two average will be deferred. But we can tell our boss if and only if the p-value that we obtain is very small. <coughs> How small is it? We obtain p-value is 0 0.003 and it is smaller than our 0 0.05. What is 0 0.05 value then? This is our level of the significant. The border between we're going to reject the null hypothesis or we fail to reject the null hypothesis. This is uh, the table that we're going to obtain when we conducted the one-way ANOVA test. <clears throat> okay, a bit small, later on you're going to get a larger version. The most important box is here. 0 0.0031 or else this is also considered important <clears throat> these two number is uh, correlate each other <clears throat> so for our case we get 0 0.0031 which is uh, inside so called the reject the null hypothesis area What does it mean by reject the null hypothesis? <coughs> 0 0.005 is our level of the significant. Our case 0 0.0031 is here. So we are inside the reject. the now hypothesis <coughs> and then the next table is the general table of expressing uh, the calculation to get the number 3 or to get the number 56 to get the number 59 to get the number 62 and so on How can you know the definition of uh, the expression inside the boxes there? It is inside here. Okay, it's a little bit uh, of complicated and too small. Later on, you're going to get uh, a big size version. This is to give you an idea how to conduct the one-way ANOVA test and which box is the most important. Now, Take the five minutes time, go to the website goodcalculators.com slash one way ANOVA calculator and then you try to produce the same p value 0 0.0031. Where is the data? The data will be uh, under the YouTube description. So you can copy the description under uh, the YouTube and then you paste into the which website goodcalculators.com slash one way ANOVA calculator take five minutes to try whether you're going to produce the same 0 0.0031 result
suddenly your boss appear again in your WhatsApp and he said, oh stop, now you know how to make a conclusion to represent so called the big population uh, data, right? That's good. Now write me a short report. Wow, write me a short report. What does it mean by writing a short report from the one-way ANOVA test? There will be, uh, in general, five big steps. The first step, we need to state the hypothesis, so-called the non-hypothesis and the alternate hypothesis. How to write the non-hypothesis? The hypothesis will sound like there is no difference either using the uh, SBF fertilizer, SBH fertilizer, there is no difference using the SBL fertilizer or SBP fertilizer. We buy any fertilizer, it's going to give the same result. So now how this will sound like if I conducted the 1000 times 4 experiment, I believe there is no difference spinach average height for all those four types of fertilizer and then this is the mathematic expression h naught means that the average using the SPF fertilizer will equals to the spinach height uh, using the SPH fertilizer or the spinach height using the SPL fertilizer spinach height using the SPP fertilizer we can just buy any fertilizer Result will be the same. It means that no difference. Then the second one, the alternate hypothesis. This is the things that our boss want us to report. Boss, if I conducted the 1000 times 4 experiment, I believe at least two fertilizers, over four types of fertilizers, going to produce a different spinach average height. So the way to express it in the mathematical expression is alternate hypothesis is at least two average are different. So now we uh, had written our hypothesis. <coughs> we'll go to the step two. We're going to test it statistically. For this case, because the problem is fulfilling five criteria, so we're going to use one-way ANOVA test. So one-way ANOVA test, we're going to get uh, the, this table uh, from the very complicated calculation. Remember just now, so many uh, mathematical terms there. Yes, it's a bit complicated. <laughs> okay, step three, not step two. Level of significant. For our case, we choose the level of significant equals to 0 0.05. Why 0 0.05? Uh, this is a standard border for us to get uh, a reasonable conclusion. So we're going to check the F distribution table. This is a big table. And then we're going to uh, search for when the N1, this one, is 3 and to 56 and then our level of significance is 0 0.05 what would be the critical f value when we check uh, the table the critical f value is 2.77 where is 2.77 is here 2.77 and then go back to the uh, statistic test just now what we get p-value is 0 0.03 and then f stat value is 5.1875 you'll reflect here <coughs> so it's further from 2.77 step 4 our decision rule this is a uh, a gen generalization uh, to decide whether we reject the null hypothesis or we fail to reject the null hypothesis. 
Which one we prefer? We prefer to reject. We prefer to reject the null hypothesis. Reject it. Why? When we reject the null hypothesis, we're going to conclude that the alternate hypothesis is more convincing. So we're going to write the rules. Reject the null, uh, reject the null hypothesis if f statistic value, where is f statistic value here? Is greater than critical f value. Where is critical f value? Here. We also can write the same, is uh, bringing the same meaning. When we're going to reject the null hypothesis, if the p-value is smaller than 0 0.05 it's the same next one we fail to reject the uh, null hypothesis if the f statistic value which we obtain is smaller than the critical f value the same thing uh, we just uh, we write it in the probability value if the p-value is greater or equals to 0.05. For case, what is our p-value or our uh, f-statistic value? <coughs> it is here. It means that uh, our decision should based on which one? This one. Our decision. <coughs> Means that we're going to reject which hypothesis? We're going to reject the null hypothesis. Once we reject the null hypothesis, we only left one hypothesis, one expectation, that is alternate hypothesis. We cannot say it's true. But we can say that we are convinced that after we did uh, the test, we have the higher chance that the alternate hypothesis is correct. Higher chance, not guarantee. Step 5, we're going to interpret the result. There is enough evidence to conclude that if I conducted the big experiment, at least there are two fertilizers over four types of fertilizers are producing different spinach average height. But if we want to know which those two or more than two fertilizers are different uh, result, we still need to proceed with another test. It's called the post hoc test. But at the moment, we're not going to touch it yet. Oh, we're going to go to the tutorial session. <coughs> the first thing that uh, you need to do, and I think this is the hardest part. A4 paper, one piece of A4 paper, and then you're going to do the manual calculation using the one-way ANOVA formula. After that, you snap the photo, uh, how you calculate it, and then uh, the ANOVA table that you derive into it. So we're going to use all those these uh, technical terms here to find what is the DF, to find what is the so-called uh, SSB, SSW, SST. And then you're going to fill them into this one-way ANOVA table. And then you're going to get this result. Okay, you're going to get this result here. What will, what will your A4 paper look like later? This is your A4 paper, the blue one. So this is your manual calculation using the formula. And then this is the ANOVA table. So this will be your A4 paper. Uh, through this slide, I didn't give you the details how to do the calculation. You try to derive it from the formula here. Okay. The more dif the, the difficult uh, one is to find the SSB, the sum square between the group, because it involves the summation. 
later on you're going to uh, use a table to find you you put it into uh, a few columns there and then you find uh, the submission for this one and then also the submission for that one if you can find these two ssb and also ssw the rest will be easy the difficult one is these two okay try it and then you use the value here to verify your calculation is correct or not okay we go to question five a4 paper which page uh, the second page okay this is the second piece of your a4 paper so you're going to write a short report uh, about the uh, ANOVA two ways uh, sorry the, about the one way ANOVA <coughs> snap photo and then you're going to submit it uh, a bit long later on you can use your own words to rewrite it especially the not hypothesis no need to use the same word as uh, written here you can use your own words as long as the now hypothesis going to say that uh, I use what kind of fertilizer the result will be the same means that we no need to conduct any experiment we just go and close our eyes and then pull any brand of the fertilizer why because the result will be the same we use the SBF fertilizer it's going to grow 12 cm we use the SBH fertilizer it's going to grow 12 cm so no need to conduct the experiment <laughs> normally when we conduct experiment we are hoping that we're going to get the uh, different result there we're going to see that oh actually if I use the SBL fertilizer the result will be better so we go back uh, to the core of this slide here what you need to do it falls under the question 5 if on page 2 rewrite rewrite the short report so you just rewrite the short report you can use your own word to rewrite it <coughs> okay what you're going to see at the end your second piece of A4 paper your own writing the short report okay this is the last uh, question for the lecture and also the tutorial session <coughs> A4 page 3 by hand you're going to find what is the value for a until g and then submit this is a problem saying that a group of men from three different three different areas of the country are be tested for their average weight <coughs> the entire the entries in the table is the weight of those different groups so group, group one let's say group one is from Malaysia group 2 from Singapore and then group 3 say it is from uh, Thailand so we have uh, a different groups so you have the data taken from the Malaysian from the Singapore and also from the Thailand okay for this problem uh, when we check the independent variable the independent variable independent variable this is the group 1 2 3 and is categorized as the nominal data and then we check uh, the dependent variable This is what kind of data? This is a ratio. What is the difference between the ratio data and the interval? The ratio, uh, we can say like it starts from zero until positive, because the 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 uh, the weight of a human, we don't have negative twenty five. It's very weird. We only have. Uh, weight from a very small newborn baby is uh, one kilogram and 
uh, like worst case when somebody squeeze until it become disappear it is zero kilogram so it means that we have a so-called the true value of the zero uh, when we say zero kilogram means that uh, that's vanishing so we have the ratio data to represent our uh, dv dependent variable and then uh, we, we cannot confirm that our dependent variable this one this is normal distributed but based on the weight of the human being we will assume that our weight will be normal distributed it means that uh, we will have uh, the many average weight people we will have very uh, skinny people we have very uh, fatty people a little bit but it's going to be a bell shape later on so we make assumption that the data here is collected from the normal distribu distributed uh, population so now you need to find what is the sum of the square factor b what is the sum of the square error c what is the df for the numerator d e f and g at the end which one is the most important this one we want to find what is the f statistic sometimes we just write it f stat luckily this problem is only asks us to find up to what is f stat it doesn't ask us what to find uh, what to uh, make the short report <clears throat> suppose you're going to get the result as per right hand side here so try it and then check uh, your result is it same as per given here okay we come to the end of the session here so there'll be no tutorial session so you take the uh, the last three questions as the tutorial uh, submit the form <coughs> tinyl.com slash anova12345 because all those q1 q2 q3 q4 q5 q6 you can see it inside this green color <coughs> website link <coughs> when before 10 p.m tonight thursday okay i'll see you next week